Okay, so this is going to be William as Prince of Wales. Listen, I know he's not Prince of Wales, but he will be. So I hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And thank you very, very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So the fact is, William will be the Prince of Wales. That's going to happen. So let's see, what um, what do you think? Um, does he have the experience? I just believe the Prince of Wales, this title, this uh, office, this this um, this movement is going to be the training ground, really the final piece uh, that helps uh, William uh, prepare for what's coming. So let's see what the cards tell us. So this is the Revival Art Tarot by... Toracco, Toracco or Toracho, I'm not sure, Studios. Uh, this is a deck that comes to me somehow, I think from Russia via Norway. But um, they're beautiful cards. They were a little pricey, and um, but I love to use them. They're lots of art. The guidebook that comes with them, Revival Art Guidebook, is, um, you know, leaves a lot to be desired. You know, you can't really read it. It's tiny, tiny print. But on the uh, upside, there's nothing in here that's particularly um, earth-shattering as far as how to use the cards for divination. So, you know, no loss. But it's a bad uh, guidebook. However, the cards are just amazing. And uh, the art goes right to the edge on these cards. They're really beautiful. And I love using them. And, uh, you know, I do this to sort of sort of mix up the cards and to give folks who don't uh, purchase tarot cards or look at uh, full decks of tarot cards very often the chance to see, you know, more of what the deck looks like. Otherwise, you just kind of see the first few, uh, the first, only the cards that are uh, dealt or that are turned over. So there you go. Uh, that's this uh, Toracho Revival Art Studio uh, deck. And I think they're beautiful and I love using them. Um, they're pretty, pretty cool. Okay, so William as Prince of Wales. 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 Prince of Wales. Let's see what the cards have to tell us about that. No specific question. I just want to know what the cards can tell us about William's future as the Prince of Wales. Okay, this is something that I think is occurring. I would bet that this feels like lightning speed to him at this point. You know, even though uh, anything, um, the monarchy is, an, is a long way off, okay, in human years. But I would be willing to bet that this feels like something that's moving much uh, at a much more rapid pace than he imagined, especially now with all the issues that are being dealt with. William is Prince of Wales. Six cards to begin with. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. I'm going to take them both. Six and seven. Okay. So William as Prince of Wales. William. Look at these cards, they're really stuck together. I think this is a very reluctant um, situation for, for William. The signifier of this card for William as Prince of Wales is this Ace of Cups. Okay, so this is a great big offer of compassion. The if if this is a figure in this scenario, which I believe it is, it's really minuscule okay all of the figures in this uh, picture here are tiny little figures okay they don't um, present prominently in this issue okay so this ace of cups this is William knowing that he needs to be the font of compassion 
the challenge to that then is this nine of coins. Okay, so the nine of coins is really being so flush with everything that you would ever need, okay? This nine of coins is is um, just a wash in privilege and opportunity and and just the the life that uh, would would be so easy for you, okay? I really feel a little tongue-tied about all of this. I want to say that this is Catherine, but I'm not sure. The uh, base of this reading then for William is Prince of Wales. Look at this, the Empress. So what is this telling us right here? For me, the Empress is fruitful. The Empress is almost like Mother Nature. Okay, and so this empress here has her her babies around her breasts. There are two other cherubs down on the on, on the on the on the ground next to her. I almost feel like this is um, these are Harry's children. So I don't know, but this this empress means that the base of all of this was this very fruitful, knowledgeable. You know, Catherine is going to figure very prominently in William's uh, William's uh, situation here. The past of this reading is this King of Swords. The King of Swords, I want to say is Charles. Um, swords are truth, power, justice, rules. And uh, in the past of this reading is the King of Swords. At some point, um, this king will be in Charles in uh, William's past. I don't know. Maybe it's Charles. In the sky of this reading is the Five of Swords. And the Five of Swords is almost... Um, an abuse of power, okay? Um, someone who is taking advantage of their position. And that's what's in the sky of this reading, okay? I'm not sure how this figures into this right now, but let's keep that in mind. We see here that someone here is trying to hold this person back, and this person is just almost run off with, and abandoned, okay? The, um, I drew too many cards. The likely outcome of the first part of this Celtic cross, then, is the Four of Coins. And the Four of Coins is really, you know, coins are, are value. They're worth. They're the earth. Um, uh, they don't always mean money. I think that this is representing the wisdom of someone who knows what their value is. And the Four of Coins is typically someone who wants to hold on to that worth. This fellow is getting ready to put those coins right back into that uh, purse, right back into that little satchel. and uh, But they're out here for us to see um, what that value is. And uh, this very compassionate face is telling us, look, I understand what I'm worth here. I'm putting this back. I'm, I'm putting my value right back away until I need it. The next question in this would be, what is the self of this question uh, with William as the Prince of Wales? Okay. And uh, that's going to be this Four of Wands. The Four of Wands are short-term uh, wands are plans, uh, actions, movement, and um, and so this four of wands are short-term uh, celebrations, or smallish celebrations towards something larger. So yeah, to become Prince of Wales will certainly be um, a celebratory uh, situation, I can imagine. The environment that that's in for William as Prince of Wales is a seven of coins. And this seven of coins is kind of looking at your harvest and you're wondering, listen, have I done enough? Is this sufficient? Is this ready for me to use? Is there more that I want to take? Is there something else that I need to do? Or can I just sit back and, and um, consider uh, this that I've created? Is that is that Catherine again? The hopes and the fears of this, William as Prince of Wales, is this uh, moon card. And this moon is secrets being revealed. Okay, I can imagine that in that position, there's going to be a whole uh, world of, of responsibilities and uh, that he may not have ever even considered. And the challenge is going to be that he's going to have to take direction from the, the then king as these, uh, as these secrets are rained down on him. You shouldn't get caught up into the uh, sex of the cards uh, dealing uh, with the six of, the, of whom you're talking about. In the sky of this reading, then, the likely outcome is this three of coins. 
and the three of coins is working together. You know, coins are value. They can actually be money, but I think they're just value in this case. And the three of coins represents really uh, something that we're putting forth for public display, something that we're sending out into the world to uh, to let folks know uh, of what our accomplishment is or what we're capable of creating. So as the Prince of Wales, that certainly would be uh, his, um, his charge at that point. So let's look at it again. He's, the signifier of this is this great big ace of cups, small figures in this huge emotional situation. The challenge to that is this nine of coins, which is really just being a wash in all the worldly um, necessities that you need. Okay. Okay. So really being able, you have what you need to make this a success. Okay. The base of that reading was this empress, this mother earth figure okay for me these just kind of uh, seem to speak to me of Catherine his, his future queen the um, past of this reading with this king of swords is the monarch okay is his dad will be in the uh, in the future in the sky of this reading we have this five of swords which is usually known as an abuse of power it's someone who's taken advantage a little bit of what they've been given i would think that this is a cautionary tale right here um the likely outcome of all of this with this four of coins is just knowing what your value is and knowing when to show what you've got and when to hold on the self of this question with this four of wands are smallish celebrations of a very happy situation the um, environment that that's in and with the seven of coins a seven of worth is 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 determining have I done enough is there more that I should do the hopes and the fears of this with this moon card these secrets being revealed is all the world that's going to open up to him even more than it has now okay regarding his his um, his responsibilities in this uh, regard but then the final um, outcome of this with this three of coins is is just knowing that you're presenting the very best that you have sending it out into the world okay for public display and opinion that's what I get. So I don't know about you, but I wasn't very satisfied with the results of that reading, but it is what it is. Sometimes uh, that's just, you know, I just read what the cards say, and uh, hopefully they've listened to my question and they've been able to respond. So, I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.